Welcome back to History Detour. In today's episode, we're diving deep into the hidden secrets of ancient Egypt. Get ready because we're about to expose the absolutely disgusting and repulsive aspects of their civilization. The Filthy Secrets of Ancient Egypt Ancient Egypt was a civilization like no other, and their hygiene practices were no exception. Let's start with the Shepherd of the Rear. Yes, you heard it right. In ancient Egypt, they had a highly esteemed position known as the Shepherd of the Rear, responsible for the hygiene of the pharaohs behind. We're talking about qualified proctologists who performed divine interventions every day. Illustrations in Ancient Egyptian Art These proctologists, known as Niru Pehut, were respected and desired, as they cared for the pharaoh's most intimate needs. Enemas were a common practice in ancient Egypt, believed to cleanse the body of corruptive substances. The job of the shepherd of the rear was to administer enemas to the pharaohs, ensuring their well-being and divine status. Ancient Egyptian Medical Titles One renowned shepherd of the anus was a physician named Iranchet, who lived around 2200 BC. The medical titles discovered on a recycled door revealed the different areas of specialization among ancient Egyptian doctors. They were physicians of the belly, the eyes, and yes, protectors of the anus. The rear end held great importance in ancient Egyptian medical beliefs, as it was seen as the source of corruptive substances that needed to be removed for the cure of diseases. Ancient Egyptian Laxative Practices But the hygiene practices in ancient Egypt didn't stop there. Let's talk about laxatives. Egyptian royalty was obsessed with their appearance, striving for a slim, muscular physique. To achieve this, they took laxatives made of castor oil at least three times a month. Picture spending most of your day in the restroom without the convenience of modern plumbing. Ancient Egyptian Pregnancy Tests Now let's uncover the weird origins of pregnancy tests in ancient Egypt. Forget modern day strips. They had a whole different approach. Ancient Egyptian women carried two pouches of seeds, one with barley and the other with wheat. After urinating on the seeds, they observed the growth. If the barley sprouted, it meant they were expecting a baby boy. But if the wheat won the race, it indicated a baby girl. Surprisingly, studies have shown that this ancient method was around 70% accurate. Ancient Egyptian Harassment Unfortunately, ancient Egypt was not without its dark side. Women faced harassment and mistreatment. Catcalling, whistling, and even flashing were distressingly common during sacred festivals. It was a society where women were considered socially inferior despite enjoying equal rights in many aspects. The struggles they faced were deeply rooted in social and religious propaganda. Ancient Egyptian Witness Battering Program Another shocking revelation is the Witness Battering Program in ancient Egypt. When crimes were committed, guards would round up not only the suspects, but also anyone who had the opportunity to overhear the plot and failed to report it. These potential witnesses would undergo brutal interrogations, enduring physical and psychological torment until the guards were satisfied with their answers. The fear of punishment played a significant role in extracting information. Ancient Egyptian Mummification Industry Now let's move on to the mummification industry. Ancient Egyptians had an intricate process of preserving bodies for eternity, but it came at a hefty price. The best mummification treatments could cost as much as 30 kilograms or 66 pounds of silver. Imagine the expense in today's terms, even the supplies alone, including linen, natron salt, resin, and incense, would cost thousands of dollars. King Tut's Cursed Mummy Finally, let's talk about the infamous curse of King Tutankhamun. While curses may be a hoax, there's one intriguing aspect of Tut's mummy. When he was buried, his pole was up. It's a mysterious anomaly, and some historians even suggest it may not have belonged to him at all. Could his embalmers have switched it with a more impressive donor? And there you have it, the disgusting and repulsive secrets of ancient Egypt laid bare. It's incredible how a civilization so advanced in many ways had its fair share of bizarre practices and dark underbelly. We hope you've enjoyed this eye-opening journey through the filthy side of ancient Egypt. If you want to learn more intriguing facts and untold stories, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to History Detour. Until next time, stay curious.